Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Kumi's World in the Philippines. Thanks for watching. If you haven't done already, um, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. Anyhow, so um, give you an update here. Let me turn it around. As you can see, we haven't done anything to the ceiling yet. Well, what we were going to do before, here's my stick here. What we we're going to do is that we were going to spray the ceiling then add on an inch and a half or so of uh, cement. So add on an inch and a half, and then we're gonna make it smooth at this well. Then a couple of things that concern me, even though I'm pretty sure that with these two by four and everything else, it would hold up the weight just fine. Um, I, I said to myself, um, no matter how hard they try, it would be impossible for them to make it nice and straight and yeah, let me turn on nice and straight across to my satisfaction and then I would have to put some kind of lighting within the cement or just uh, have it search for service mount and so forth so this is my plan we are going to do PVC uh, ceiling so that changes things a little bit so we went to a place called Wilcon and Wilcon is one of those construction supply company so what we need to do is that we're going to need to put some hangers in here. Of course, we can hang some, put some hangers here on the two by four here. And then every two feet or so, when we're doing the, what do you call that? The ceiling furrowing. So every two inch, you're going to have to have a piece going across so that we can uh, screw or rivet the, uh, the PVC ceiling tiles too. Now these ceiling tiles are about 10 inches by 10 feet going across. And then of course there's some there's some side pieces as well and uh, and of course the end pieces. So that way, um, well let me, let me back up. So what we're going to do is that we're going to put hangers where we need it so that way we can build the fairing frame around it. But after we put the hangers in then we're going to spray. Now, we're going to spray pretty much like it is here, just a light amount, instead of having the pure um, styrofoam look for that. So I'm just going to have them spray to make sure that these areas here are covered, just in case, you know, spiders or whatever, somehow they make it up there and living inside. I wouldn't want that. But we're going to do a nice uh, easy coat of, uh, of uh, spray creed on here throughout the whole place. But I'm not going to do it until they put the hangers on because it's going to be impossible to or very difficult to try to you know break away the cement to, uh, to hang the hangers in the future and I don't think that's going to be wise now the bad part is that you know when we're spraying we have to cover the whole walls and the floor to prevent a huge mess so that's what we're doing anyhow um, if I did this also it's going to reduce the amount of weight and it's going to reduce the, reduce the amount of cost, sort of, that the ceiling is going to have. And it's going to look better. And with the ceiling tiles that we put up here, I can put in recessed lighting. I can have wires go anywhere I want for future lighting or whatnot. And I think this is uh, our best bet. And I'm kind of glad that we waited until the last minute before we started to spray because of this concern. And of course, it's going to keep the weight down as well. Like I said, I'm not too sure about cost. I think cost, we, we looked at it, 2,500 square feet or 15 by 15 meters. Um, I think the cost is roughly 108,000 just for the ceiling tiles of PVC ceiling. And they're very light as well. So that plus the cost of fairing is how much it's gonna cost me to do the ceiling. Now compare that to putting in inch and a half of cement and possible other problem hanging lightings and everything else, the kind that I want, is gonna be problematic. So I haven't really updated inside too much on purpose because I didn't want you guys to uh, watch the same progression over and over again. You know, this can be boring. I want you guys to, you know, hopefully come up with, learn some ideas and incorporate what you have as well as uh, you know come up with your own ideas and hopefully you can share that as well so Richard here is doing some 
finishing work, which looks great. So this will be a four by four window area here. We put a laser. Richard, we used a laser already this morning, right? Yes. So we did a laser to make sure that it's nice and uh, plumb and across as well. And then it's gonna be a four by four PVC window in here, plus uh, maybe a quarter of an inch for play that we can fill in with silicone later on. So he's putting up the uh, C channels up here, I believe, and he's just gonna work it across, trowel it across, use these edges for uh, troweling to make it nice and perfect. Can I videotape you? This is our contractor, first time that I videotaped him. So if you guys want to get a hold of him, just go ahead and message me. But he's the one that basically designed everything, put together everything, and doing our finish work. So his name is Gideon. I don't know if it's because of me or uh, using M2 panel, but this whole construction process has been quite clean. The only part is dirty is the cement and, you know, the excess. The panel that we have over here that is excess, which we're gonna use some of it for the, um, for our stairways, just as a filler. So that, those are the extras we have and plus some trash bags over there that we have. But as you can see, most of the construction using N2 panel is very, very clean. Besides me from telling him I want it clean. Look at this window dressing that I wanted. It's kind of our, my design. I'll take credit for that one. See that? Normally you have some kind of uh, awning coming out here. Of course, awning won't last too long, but this one will. If you guys have noticed, I really hate uh, sharp corners, and everything is nice and rounded. It's beautiful.